good day everybody this is Dark Comet and welcome back to my channel I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla Discovery Tour the Viking Age this is going to be episode number eight of eight um, this will be the final tale in this DLC hope you guys enjoyed it up to this point and look forward to see what's going to happen now in last episode we saw Thornstein and Grunhilda trying to spend a perfect day back in the city of Jorvik which is the modern day York um, we're going to see that at the end of that tale, that Thornstein disappeared and Kunhilla couldn't find him, and now we're going to find out what happened. In this tale, we're going to see Thornstein awaken in an unfamiliar land. His memories are all gone. To discover what he has lost, he will have to sacrifice the unthinkable, and in confronting fate once and for all, except that he will forever be bound by it. We're now going to jump into more of a mythical uh, tale. We're going to be looking at the lands of Asgard and Jotunheim. We're going to see how the Vikings, gods, and others play out in their tales. Um, this should be quite fun. At the very end of this, we're going to show you all 20 characters you can use in the Discovery Tour. They have all been unlocked now. And we're going to show you all the rewards that we collected, which is kind of cool because of the first Discovery Tour that allowed all these epic uh, cosmetics and different armor sets we're going to get. Uh, we got armor, we got co cosmetics for our camp, we got cosmetics for our boat, we got sword, um, and it's quite fun. We got also put a bunch of tattoos and stuff, so hope you guys enjoy this. hope you guys can also enjoy the tale on your own and that this helped you in this walkthrough. So let's get busy, let's get onto this tale, uh, make sure you leave a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't done so already, and look forward to seeing you on other future Dark Comet adventures. How oh, are you so quick to forget? I don't trust him. What happened? I was stressed. I can't remember. Don't be shy! Where am I? Jotunheim, land of the giants! Loki thought it would be fun to play a trick on you humans. I need a word with him. <laughs> Feisty! Don't waste your time. Loki's always up to no good. He probably did it so I wouldn't notice him stealing my stuff. And the scoundrel was right. This must be a dream. Ah, I wish it was. Then I wouldn't be stuck cleaning up Loki's messes anymore. Come. Hold on. Loki, Jotunheim. Are you supposed to be Thor, the giant slayer? What do you mean, supposed to be? I am Thor. I'll have to take your word for it. My mind feels like someone's poked holes in it. Uh, do not worry about that. We will have to restore your memory to find out where you belong anyway. But first, you must help me. What could I possibly do that the God of the people cannot? I need you to find my gauntlets and belt. Without them, I cannot use my hammer. And without my hammer, I would not last long in a village full of giants. So I need you to handle it. Once you get my things, I will take you to the well of Mimir. Easy. <sighs> for you? You will not be harmed. God's honor. But I will be waiting for you here. Just in case.
Giants. Have I checked the attic? They seem much more peaceful than in the sagas. What's an ankle biter doing here? belt. Barrel seems refreshing and a great place to hide something. What's your problem with those giants? They seem pretty peaceful to me. They belittled me! 
All right. Let's go. Are we going to Midgard? No. Oh, to Mimir's well. You must be certain Midgard is where you're meant to be. Mimir will know. His name sounds familiar. Uh, as far back as I can remember, my father Odin has craved knowledge and wisdom of any kind. But he came to be obsessed with his future, and more especially his own downfall. So he too drank the well's magical water. But to access it, he had to sacrifice his eye to Mimir. The world's guardian. I see. Pay a toll to acquire what you seek. Exactly. You must be prepared. You won't get out of there the same as you've entered. Do you know what you will sacrifice? It will take some thought. Here we are. Off you go. You're not coming with me. Do you really need more hand-holding? <laughs> go. I will wait for you. Oh, and be respectful. Mimir doesn't have the same tolerance for mortals that I do. Happened. I sacrificed the only thing I had, my hammer, my human vessel. <laughs> Mimir didn't grant you the knowledge you sought? <laughs> I wanted to best my enemies, to see the looks on their faces as all their plans came to naught. Now I'm trapped here, I can never return to Midgard. What's the point of outwitting your foes if they'll never even know it? Ah, I see. Be careful. Learn from my mistake. Don't sacrifice anything you will regret! Enter, Thorstein of Midgard. I know what you seek. Reveal your sacrifice, and your desire may be granted. 
As I know nothing of my past, and own nothing of value, I can only sacrifice my future. Reaching the Great Hall of Odin upon my death would be the greatest honor. Wise Mimir, I sacrifice to you my chance to ever enter Valhalla. Thorstein of Midgard. You have chosen to sacrifice any hope to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Let it be so. You may drink from my waters now and remember your past. The betrayal of someone close has brought you here. I... died? Bjorn... Bjorn did this to me. Why? You have the answers you sought. No, I need to know. What happened to Gunhilda? You cannot drink again. You have nothing left to sacrifice. Wait, wait! M Mimir, come back! Gunhilda... Now that I finally remember your face... ...is seeing you again. The future I gave up? dead all along? There was a high chance, yes. I do not know of death as you humans do. To us gods, death is only part of an endless cycle of rebirth. Until Ragnarok, that is. Well, I don't have that privilege. What am I to do now? I could take you to the Norns. Only they will know where you ought to go. I'm tired of being thrown around like a wet cloth. Is this the gods' humor? Only Lokis. I hate that he's using my people against me. You were caught in the middle, and I am sorry. <laughs> Your excuses won't bring me back to life. There! My faithful goats Tangrisnir and Tangnjostr will take us to Asgard, to the Norns. This is your chariot? <laughs> you cannot see its true form. Do not be fooled by my goats' sides. They are mightier than a hundred giants. <laughs> Shall we go? Yes. I can't stand the sight of this place anymore. for myself. I've come to seek the Norns' counsel and find an end to this meandering. <laughs> of course. Another victim of Loki's mischief. I understand your frustration. We cannot approach the Norns, nor the threats they weave. These cats seem to have approached them just fine. 
Mighty creatures, are they not? Loki brought them here. They entangled the threats and made a mess. But no matter. Your threat followed its course. Nothing can ever change your destiny. Trust me. I've tried. What about my wife, Gunhilda? Do you know where she is? I wouldn't care to know. You are in Asgard, talking to the Old Father, and all you can think of is your wife. You mortals have such one-trick minds. Take your questions to Freya, along with these cats of hers. She'll know how to indulge you. <sighs> all right then. How do I get out of here? will take longer for me to explain than to just send you away. Good luck. If these are Freya's cats, they must be leading to her. Am I following them, or are they following me? Freya must know that cats are better creatures than people. Never imagined I'd spend my afterlife leading a herd of cats. Surprised they're even awake. I'm covered in cat hair now. Goddess Freya, I've brought back... Thank you. I'm surprised they followed you here. Who are you? Thorstein of Midgard. The Allfather sent me to see you. I've died, and I have nowhere to go. I see. 
Odin knows I cannot resist a stray in need. Listen, darling. Everyone has somewhere they ought to be. Even you. Follow me. But I've given up all hope of entering Valhalla. Then you were never destined to reach Valhalla. How so? I lived a good and honorable life. Don't I deserve an honorable death? Maybe, just not in Odin's great home. You shall accompany me to Folkvanger, my home. Will my wife be there? Have you seen Gunhilda? I do not know, but if it's her fate, she will join us there. I'd go through a thousand deaths if it meant seeing her again. Your love is true and strong. Your fates must be intertwined. All hope isn't lost, but I do not make promises of outcomes I cannot control. If Loki hadn't interfered with my thread... You would have ended up just where you are now, with or without Loki's hand. How can you tolerate his misdeeds? It's the one thing I never understood! We are not to question it. It's just who he is. Loki, just as any of us, is a part of the greater scheme. But I know how you must feel. I've wanted to rip that smug smile of his from his face more than once. Almost went through with him one day. He must have done something awful. The worst thing he could possibly do. He stole my dear Brisinger man. One of your cats? No, my necklace. Oh. My most precious possession. I'd give anything for it. And I did. Because of Loki, a hundred men gave their lives to Odin that day. But it was written. So I never had a choice. will take you to Foldvanger, my kingdom, afterlife of the slain and righteous, just as luxurious as Odin's great hall. Thank you.
zie ik. Een applaus. Being the land of mighty gods, Asgard had to be scaled accordingly. To create this sense of magnitude, level designers played on heights with towers that reach up into the sky to meet the immense branches of Yggdrasil, the mythical world tree. The wolf, Fenrir, went through the same fate. Indeed, the infamous beast is ten times the size of a normal wolf, thanks to the character modelers. To set AC Valhalla's Asgard apart, developers focused on depicting the myths of the Viking sagas, with doors to other realms, well of Norns and so on, combined with glimpses of Eivor's past life and memories. A great shame it'll all be destroyed come Ragnarok.
I'm going to level with you now and prepare yourself. Vikings did not wear horned helmets. This dreadful misconception came from the Wagnerian opera The Ring of the Nibelung from 1876, but you knew that. Horned and winged helmets were at that stage part of the actors' costumes, a way for the warriors to seem more grandiose on stage. Ever since then, depictions of Vikings wearing big, horned helmets were in plentiful supply, and this wrongful image has persisted to this day. Beside the fact that horned helmets would have been anything but practical on the battlefield, it seems that the very few ones found by archaeologists were only used for ritual purposes. So you can use that fact next time you want to ruin a Viking's Halloween party.